for you to start using that mind to review your year. So I'm going to share um, a way to look at a couple of questions about how to use that comparative mind in a, in a joyful way, but a constructive way. And so the tool is really, I call it about how far, it's called how far have you come and what is your more. At the beginning, Patty, you were saying that when you're in comparison, you're not, you're not open to the more. You're constantly like in a cycle. So these questions are a series of questions that will help evaluate. And if you need me to repeat the questions, you can just send me a message. But the first question is, who were you at the beginning of this year? So if you're comparing, who were you at the beginning of this year? You have a baseline. And then looking at yourself now, how are you different now? How are you different now from the beginning? And then the third question is, what have you achieved? So you look at yourself and say, what have you achieved? So from that third question, what have you achieved? Ask yourself, what are you happy about? And then, of course, when you ask yourself, what are you happy about? You do have to consider what the comparative mind will do is usually bring up what you're not happy about. So what you can do is those two things. It's important to do both. What are you happy about? What are you not happy about? Because the negative, destructive, comparative mind will usually throw up things that you're not happy about. So just acknowledge them if they're there. Don't push them away. Don't try to change them. Be, be frank and honest about it and avoid going into what you were saying at the beginning. We, we beat ourselves up. So if you start beating yourself up, self up about it that's not the point of this exercise if you see that habit you've got to really say okay that's a part of the destructive mind so when you get to those four questions what are you happy about that is the final one the point is to look at what do you want more of that's the fifth and final question and that's where you start to build constructively with the comparative mind you see where you were at the beginning of the year where you are at the end of the year, what have you achieved, what are you happy about, what are you not happy about and where, what's your next and what do you want more